And five, four, three, two. What up, y'all? Welcome to Here's the Thing. I'm Kevin on stage. She's Angel. Welcome to another podcast episode. Smash that like button. Smash that notification button. Hey, hey, hey. We're going to be full. Thank you, thank you, thank you for you and more. We are here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We are. What a moment. It's, it's, it's a show tonight in uh, Toronto. Tomorrow. He already <laughs> rubbing his legs. It's okay, friend. You tie tie. You tie tie. I'm good. This just feels comforting. <laughs> Tomorrow in New York City. New York, tickets. there's like 200 tickets left. So, you know what I'm saying? By the time we hit the city, you know they're going to they gonna scoop those right up. Bacon, I got cheese. Bacon, I got cheese. Bacon, I got cheese. Yeah, they me. Bacon, I got cheese. But anyway. My nose is itching. Little handsy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so wait, in wait, the- before we jump to the doctor, so I don't forget, oh, we need to start the. I got a boogie. Why did you see? I just seen it. Oh, go to the bathroom and look in the mirror. I be having boogers all the time. Angel be like, this... Yeah, that's a big boy. Yo, I'm shooting the pot. Can I call you right after? Yeah, they told you to, to stop asking questions and send that stuff over. All right, bye. Um, what I was gonna say is, Kevin, we can't have them start when um, we do the competition. So at the at our shows, we're gonna be doing a intro competition, right? We can't have we, them start. We can't have them start where you think it starts at in five, four. Oh, from three. the beginning. Yeah. And five. Yeah. Oh. They need to do the claps and everything. Okay, so what what do I need to tell them? We, Tell me how to do it. So for the competition, we're gonna be like, all right, guys, because you know Toronto's first. We gonna we gonna give you N five, and from there, it's all them. It's all them. So you decide if you're a Kevin. Decide if you're an Angel. Decide if you're a Josh. Don't be trying to flip flop back. Forward. So all I say is, we're about to do the intro. Yeah. All I'm gonna give you is N five. Yeah. That's it. I'm not clapping. Angel not clapping. Josh, you're not doing nothing. The rest is on y'all. Yes. How how his how uh in sync y'all is. Come on, come on, get how it much out. energy you got? Yeah. How much it rec- yeah. be like we be. <laughs> it's yeah. all and we and Angel gonna record it on her phone I'm now. Gonna record it. I'm singing alone now. All right. Okay, so that's all I'm saying. Okay. So today's docket, we have church announcements, church. We got Keith Lee effect gone wrong. I know. Due to no fault of his own. No, of course not. Uh, not did you put that sweet baby Ray thing in here? No. I didn't know. Did you put the sweet? Did you put the sweet baby Ray? I must have did that. I was going to make that video. Uh, oh, that's put it in mm-hmm. there for your own. Yep. Uh, you can't go on a date at religious college without a pass and a chaperone. Be, mm-hmm. uh, Shannon Sharp says Beyonce and Taylor should not be compared. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll see what else we get to. But first, we must church announcements to Churchy. Let's talk about how uh, my friend. No, I'm gonna make the announcement. You hey, shut up. I'll shut up. My friend, Kevin Allen Fredericks, huh? Huh? Kevin Allen. That's what my mama named me. Now, I know a lot of people in Hollywood. <laughs> I know a lot. Look at I've her IMDb. Here. I've been here for 20 years. And I it's can longer than tell I've been alive. You, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, there are only two people in my phone that have ever um, produced, financed, mm. okay, distributed, then sold their own television show to a major network. Within two years. Really? With, yes, there's only two people in my phone. Two people that I know. And they are Kevin and Melissa Fredericks. Oh, it's, it's us? <laughs> it's y'all. I was like, who the? <laughs> Those are the only two people I know. I know people who sell shows. They sell the either the idea of the show or they sell the pilot of the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But to go into your own bank account, huh? Man. Do the production. I'm talking about Kevin was a bull in the china shop, wrecking stuff, making mistakes left and right. I'm talking about just, just terrorizing. <laughs> His own life, okay, <laughs> for that, his dream. That, that pimple. That pimple. For the whole was, shoot. Yeah, it, it was there. It was there. I it had a pimple that big <laughs> since that day. It was, the pimple was like, I'm shooting Churchy too. <laughs> 
But that reckless abandonment is what caused you to be able to sell a show that not only is needed, mm -hmm. huh? the network needed it, okay? But so does the culture. Yeah. And can't nobody take that from you. You can't take it from me. And, and I watched my friend Kevin cry for 20 minutes. Oh, my God, big, Angel. Big tears on Wednesday. Angel. <laughs> we was going over the Here's the Thing tour, Dude. just making sure, because I have been in, traveling and Angel's been so busy. Um, so we was like, we gonna meet up, we mm -hmm. gonna go over the, how the show's gonna work and all that. But what happened was the Variety article was supposed to be, um, interviewed, was supposed to happen on Monday, mm -hmm. okay? And then usually when you do, and I don't only mean usually, it's happened to me twice, mm -hmm. they interview you ahead of time. Yeah. There's like a press day for interviews, yeah. you know, and then they write the article and they send it to you and like, hey, you know, do spell checks, did we get everything right, all that type of stuff. There was an emergency the author had, so she had did it Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. And we had I, I never had a chance to get the proofread it. Proof read it. Mm -hmm. So there was some, so it was supposed to go up at 9 30, and it did, but there were some spelling mistakes. And the main thing, it, the cast uh, was wrong. Yeah, the, they the didn't main have cast the main they had cast. pulled from IMDb mm -hmm. instead of we said. So they had to make some changes. They really made the changes within like, I don't, it was like 10 minutes. That's the blessing of digital. But mm -hmm. I, me and my angel was supposed to meet at 10 o'clock and I was going to shoot the video, edit it and post it. But because 10 minutes, and then it was 15 minutes by the time I screenshot it, recorded the video and I was too hyped. So I was messing up. Mm -hmm. So I was all behind. And then uh, I started, I started thinking of, I, I started watching the video with me and Melissa. When he cried like a baby. Did y'all see that man cry? I, break down. I said, I laugh now, but I said, <sighs> <Keep talking. sighs> and I could see in my he was crying so hard. I could see in my brows, like I know what I was thinking. I was like, I was like watching that trailer. And the crazy thing about Churchy is we had made Churchy. Yeah. Like we made a trailer. Yeah. I watched I sat and watched every episode. It went up on the Kevin State Studios app. But when BT, when we sold it to BT. They remade the trailer. And let me tell you, we did the best we could with mm -hmm. what we had. Mm -hmm. But the difference between uh, they hired a trailer company that only makes trailers. Exactly. And I said, oh, they they found it. They really did such a good job they, of encapsulating the comedy, the heart, the the passion of Corey. It was great. I, and I was like, so I, ha I really hadn't seen that trailer mm -hmm. for real. Uh -huh. Right. So then seeing the BT logo At the end, that's and the be colors, unreal. I was like, oh my God. And then my next thought was, I wish I could send this to Jay. And that piece, plus the culmination of like, not just Churchy, like Churchy was, was years of work alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get it up, to get it made, get it paid for, sold. I will tell you the story later, the, the full story. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm working on something and I will one day tell you in detail mm -hmm. just how, I mean, when it happened, I said, I'm saving this because mm -hmm. they won't even believe. Yeah. People won't even believe what it took to get that show done. But it wasn't even that. It was like, we're moving to LA. It was like, you know, like in movies when they flash back to all your yeah. stuff, it was like Boeing getting fired. No, the pictures yeah. of Churchy. Like, this is no narrative. I pitched Churchy. My agent set up meetings everywhere. Yeah. I pitched it everywhere. I had a little bit of traction right before the pandemic. This was like, it was no, 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 no. One person's company said, actually, we like this. this we think this will be good. That was February 2020. Mm -hmm. March 2020, pandemic happened, and it, you missed your moment. Yeah. In Hollywood, sometimes it's like, you know, you're trying to fall asleep and you'd be so tired. Mm hmm and you're like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. And you miss your moment, and then you're just awake. Yeah, That's how it be. Like, so many things have to go right for your pitch to even be. So they didn't even buy it. They just were like, oh, yeah, we'll meet up. And then a couple of me. Anyway. And that was a nibble of, like, when you, like you had a nibble of a fish. Like, I got something. And then you pull it, and it was gone. It was like yeah. that. So watching that with this, I cried ugly. Uh, he had that ugly. Your face morphed so... <laughs> Fast, y'all gotta understand. I texted Kevin at like 
it was something early because I knew we were going to be meeting up. And I was like, is the because when he told me that it was, the article was coming out at 930 and the article was supposed to come out on Monday. So everything that happened on, on, our, on our day Wednesday was, supposed, was supposed to be Monday. So on Wednesday, it was supposed to be nothing but preparing for the tour. So he was like, it's going to come out at 930. But he didn't tell me EST or PST. Stupid EST. So I texted him because I, I was like, did I miss it? Because I wanted to make sure I was on like putting it in my stories. He was like, no, 930. I said, OK, so PST. He's like, yeah. Then he sends me the video. He was like, watch this. And he sends me the video and I'm watching it and I'm already shocked. Why ain't Kevin crying? <laughs> like, I literally am watching this. It's like, why ain't this nigga crying? Like, I know this is huge for my friend. Like, this would be huge for anybody. For yeah. Not just for you. Yeah. But for my friend. I like and so at the end, finally, when he broke like a fragile little egg oh shell, my god, Angel and Melissa was like, Oh, finally, because <laughs> <laughs> Melissa was like, I wasn't gonna cry because you weren't crying, but then I want to cry. <laughs> and that place to <laughs> and when you hold back, I, I can't not hold back tears. But when you hold them back, that is what creates the ugly. Yes, it's yes. you crying and trying not to cry, yes. and it's the it's the push and pull. You look. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah, let it go. So then at the office, <laughs> at the office, I w- I have had that video of my brother in my phone since. And what he, a gift. I had it from when he got it from the NAACP, right? Yeah. And then Tammy sent it to me after he passed away and died. And passed away and died. Yeah, he oh. passed away and he died. So I, I I had shared it in Patreon a long time ago. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And I thought I would never share it again. But the words are so it's like so poignant, so perfect. It doesn't matter what I do. Yeah. That video, like it will I could win the Super Bowl. Right. I could win the NAACP championship. <laughs> <laughs> it's per- he gave it me such a matter. beautiful gift to to have of him forever. It's the I do, I I feel like God was like say these things yes because he gonna need them so when I watched that I I I promise y'all no. I don't even think I cried that much at the take funeral it take it back take it back take it back Marcus gets there to the oh, office oh this nigga tank. <laughs> Marcus gets there the big old and man I said, hands I said Marcus did did you congratulate Kevin and he was like oh oh yeah man he was like congratulations and Kevin said huh. <laughs> he said, "Hi, ah, I'm already. Yeah, I'm already at the edge because Juge had uh just. That's what it was. Had just texted Juge and Tammy was tag teaming. My dad is proud of you. Yeah, my husband is proud of you. Jay would be. Jay would be. So I'm getting these messages, and I'm like, uh, he tried. Then Marcus it. comes in, and them tears is like." Hey, y'all, we're probably going to have a long day. Y'all get ready. And if Marcus knows somebody's about to cry, that is blood in the water. He going to make sure you cry then. He's like, oh, you about to? Well, we going to make sure. So Marcus was like, I, he was like, no, I'm already going. He said, oh, but I, he was like, we are so uh, proud of you. And Jay will be proud. And t- Kevin's tears just said. <laughs> that, that, that was Kevin for the rest of the time I'm, we were rehearsing. I'm watching this show, this anime show called Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. And when they when they animate tears, it goes from like, hey, and then they pour out. That, like, it, <laughs> the girl's tears like, <laughs> put out a fire. Yes. Like, they poured out. Like, That's it's huge. like a hydrant. Y'all, what, Marcus put them big old hands and <laughs> did this. I said... Uh, and he just cried. Marcus said, oh, he really cried. I said he I was serious. crying all over my phone. My phone couldn't work. <laughs> Got to full tears all over my phone. And then, then he went to that damn video. And then I went to the video. Angel said, this was your fault. Right. Angel said, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, no, listen, <laughs> Kevin had just finished crying. He crying. I mean, my friend is crying, crying. And I was like, you know what, Kev? I was like, it's fine. I said, that's okay. You let it out. I said, because this does suck that he's not here. I said, it does. It really sucks. I said, so you go ahead and you do what you got to do. Kevin gets himself together. He was like, Angel, you ready? And I said, you know what? No, I'm not. I got to go pee. I was gone for all of two minutes because I'm not one of these chicks that take forever to piss. I get squats, wipe, wash my hands, get out. I come back. Kevin is crying so hard now <laughs> that you can literally see the tears hitting and hear them hitting the carpet. I said, Kevin, what happened? <laughs> he back to watching that video. He said, I'm torturing myself now. I'm torturing myself. I said, friend, it's okay. You go right ahead. You go right ahead. You do what you need to do. Oh my God. 
Uh, Kevin was dehydrated by the time we We finished. was meeting for probably four hours, maybe. Four or five hours. Could have been two. I don't know if this is a booger or a hair. I'd be having gray hairs as well. It looked like a booger, though. Maybe ch- it looked like a booger at the end of a black hair. No, that's a booger. Let me get you a tissue. A booger. So, yes. Ooh, cinematic. Kevin has cried. I cried my tears. last tear. All of yesterday. Of the tears. But how does it feel? So, this is so you are someone I think that a lot of people. Somebody said, cue that Frank Ocean song. <laughs> If I would have played that song, That's what I, might as well I think my eyeballs might have came out of my body. <laughs> I should have. You would have had that. to take me to Cedar Sinai. Had Marcus known about that song, oh, he would have been God. like, oh. "Press the play." It just lets you just sit on that carpet in a fetal <laughs> position crying. <laughs> but what were you asking me? So a lot of people think of you as Kevin, the stand-up comedian, or as Kevin, the content creator. But if you are part of Patreon, a stage crew member, or a good friend, you know that is in Kevin's heart to be an actor. Yes. So how does it feel that you are getting the opportunity to really transition over into the part of the industry that has kind of evaded you a little bit? Kind (laughs) of? Yeah. And then yeah. she's like, nigga, it's been move. joking you for a little bit. Get, you, you ain't even supposed to be over here. But you finally got that. You sacked the quarterback. On I this sacked one. the quarterback. How does that feel? So, okay. So it's it's a mixed bag. What happened? <laughs> oh. <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. I got it. I'm going to mm-hmm. watch it happen on the replay. Okay, go ahead, friend. Thank you. That's funny. <laughs> uh, So I'm going to tell you what happened. That was very interesting to me. Mm-hmm. I thought maybe they're going to leak the article early. So let me write it mm-hmm. just because, you know what I'm saying? I just, <laughs> Cause you got to, I just you really want to see it. <laughs> so I typed Kevin Frederick's variety. Does nothing come. No, I typed Kevin Frederick's churchy, right? You know what comes up? Rotten tomatoes. It's already preloaded because the industry talks to each other. Like hey, it's the, uh, the way it works, whoever does the exclusive, huh? Uh, for critics. Yeah. Whoever does exclusive has usually between 30 minutes and an hour window. And then everybody else prints a version of that story or can print a version of that story. But the information is seeded out. So a Rotten Tomatoes blank page was put up there. And this is not something that's on my expectation. Like IMDb, I already know because I put that up there myself. Rotten Tomatoes, I'm not expecting. So once I clicked on Rotten Tomatoes and it's like Churchy, Kevin Fredericks, BT Plus, Mm. Uh, February 15th, I said, okay, oh my God, this is out of my hands now. Uh-huh. Like, this is not stage yeah. crew only. No, it's not. This is the world. You can't jump right to the to the media comments. Yeah, I, it's thing. out. And the thing that's interesting, Rick Rubin was saying this, he was like, you don't, you, you, you don't make art for audiences, you make it for yourself, and then audiences enjoy it or don't enjoy it. But it's not your fault or responsibility to make somebody enjoy it. It's like, making somebody enjoy painting. You make the painting to the best of your ability, you put it out there. So that Rotten Tomatoes thing was like, oh my God. It felt like the show slipped out of my hands. Because mm-hmm. the Kevin Stage app where it first aired, them folks is yeah, fans. Yeah, they will support you right into whatever you do. You I, it could have been bad. And they would be like, we still, they might have said you're a great actor. They said, we with you, Kevin. I mm-hmm. appreciate you. I'm proud of you. Rotten Tomatoes, they have no allegiance to me at all. They don't give a damn. <laughs> so it's like you <laughs> it's like this show sucks. Tomato, or it's you know, it's gonna be red or it's gonna be green. So that was a, a sobering reminder, like you're gonna enter into a part where you're gonna play some more away games. Stage crew can't help you. They can't save you. Uh, they can help you, but they ooh, can't save you. Does that make you feel a little naked? It may feel a little naked. Uh-huh. On soft as well. <laughs> Outside of a pool. <laughs> Because you, you, when you dream of Hollywood, at least for me, I only dream of the positive things. Oh, my name's gonna be on billboards and sunset <laughs> parties and be on set. I don't think of people being like, I hate this and Kev can't act. So on Twitter, I was uh, looking at the replies to Variety and somebody used my words against me. The Eddie Murphy thing that I said about Nicki Minaj, they was like, yeah, Kev, like Eddie Murphy, but they messed it all up. They basically at the end was like, he can't act. And I was like, okay, you can say that. They can. They can say that. But Angel said I could. And Angel is a great friend, but she's not a liar. You can't. I I don't think she would have told me. I don't think she would have been mean and been like, you can't act. You don't look good in this. 
but I don't think she would have lied to me. No, and I'm telling you what, you'll be way better in season two. Oh, well, listen, the biggest problem with Churchy for me in season one was directing and producing. I and it went, and I told you. You did. I said. But I don't have choice. I know, I know. But I, I, I forewarned, I was like, if you're not prepared on the acting front, that yeah. will be the thing that you kind of throw out the window. Yes, because I, I can see in Churchy, there's just nothing I can do about it now. What, what happens when you're the financier and you don't have the luxury of a full crew? Mm -hmm. Simple things like lunch is supposed to be ready to serve at one. Mm -hmm. and RTS, RTS. RTS at one. And, at, and if it's not, you're not calling lunch at one o'clock. You're paying penalties. You gotta, you gotta call Grace, which gives you, I believe, 11 minutes or 12 minutes. Uh -huh. 12 minutes, I believe. And if you're not, if somebody's not in line on the 13th minute of 113, you are paying penalties, uh, meal penalties. Which is like time and a half, right? Time and a half. People's agents are emailing you. That type of stuff. The 13th minute. There no, there's no games. There's no way around it. People are well within their right to charge you a penalty for that hour. And then it's like every 10 minutes, yeah. you, you pay a penalty from the moment people are not serving lunch. And I'm trying to act and do that. And there was another day, and listen, lunch is a big deal. Somebody for lunch had messed up and they bought from Costco those, uh, those wraps, mm -hmm. those like tortilla wraps that you would have like at a corporate luncheon. You know what I'm saying? They have yeah, like yeah, a fruit yeah. tray. I said, man, nobody, you have to have hot food. Yes. These people have been here since 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. Yeah. or 10, whatever. Yeah. You cannot feed a hungry person who's already working at a lower rate than the SAG minimum. This right. is like SAG New Media. Right. They're getting paid, but they're not making bread. Not at all. The minimum you got to do is feed these people for real. 100%. You can't bring in no trays of cold cuts. I will be pissed my own self. So I'm dealing with that type of stuff. And that's just It's a lot of pressure. Today. So if we get a season two, the benefit of that is I won't have to direct those episodes. Uh, if, if BT's financing it, I, I don't have to produce it. I don't have to worry about lunch. That's somebody else's job. Mm -hmm. And I can really focus on acting. But I really was thinking, it's funny you mentioned that thing about your phone. I was thinking like hardly anybody in this industry ever gets their shows made. Mm -hmm. Like actual episodes. Correct. A lot of people, not even a lot, like hardly anybody has the success. Hardly anybody ever even gets a pilot made. Correct. Gets a series regular. Like these things are, this is like getting in the NBA. Mm -hmm. Like yes. there's very few people who ever can say, I made a TV show under any circumstance. circumstance. Yeah. There's probably even fewer who say, you know what's crazy? I was watching Maxine's Baby on Tyler Perry mm -hmm. uh, documentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Meet the Browns, the story they always talk about him financing the the first season. Mm -hmm. I thought he financed all hundred episodes. He didn't. No. He paid for the first ten. There you go. And then they bought ninety. There you go. I paid for the first eight of a TV show, and somebody bought it. Yeah. Like, but first, first of all, people don't usually regret it up like that in this industry. If you don't already have success, like inside of the industry then you definitely don't have the money to make it it's the quality that a TV show would want to buy it. Just yes. even think about um, Awkward Black Girl. That was very, that that popped on the internet. But that show is not what ended up on HBO. No, that's insecure. That is insecure. Yes, is it based off of Awkward Black Girl? In most ways, 100%. But the quality of what Issa shot at first is not TV quality. So yeah. it could not go up on air. And so most people who are already in the industry do not have the type of money it takes yeah. to actually finance and produce a show on their own. No outside finances mm -hmm. because we got all these odds and end jobs, right? So Kevin's non-traditional way of coming at the industry, similar to Tyler Perry's, Tyler Perry came at it from the stage plays Chitlin circuit. Kevin came from social media. Having that lump sum of money to like make this happen and make it happen in a way that was like, okay, we can take this seriously. The way yeah. it looks. Yeah. You did it sad. You didn't do it, you know, you know, Dirty D style. Yeah. <laughs> um, which I love Dirty D, but it's not going to end up on BET. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, allows you to put yourself in a category that very 
that very few people will ever do. And a lot of people won't bet on themselves in that way. They're always going to want a bigger partner yes. to take on some of the responsibility because if it tanked, you and Melissa were the only two people that were going to feel that. And listen, it tanked <laughs> until it was sold. Betting big, <clears throat> doubt slips in, doubt slipped in. And I, listen, we put a lot. Well, listen, I paid a lot. And I'll be honest with y'all. I didn't even sell churchy for what it cost me to make it. This is just the truth. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get like, oh my God, now I made my money back plus. And then the other thing that, that I didn't know, I'm going to tell y'all a funny story real quick. Tell us the funny story. <clears throat> Let me tell you how little I know about selling a TV show. <laughs> tell the truth. Tell the truth. When I sold churchy, it was like, okay, we're going to deliver it, right? They Paramount sends over these documents. No, actually, let me back up. They're like, we got to get the videos uploaded. <clears throat> First church was supposed to air in April. So we thought we was going to have to upload it. Um, like, you know, get it prepared, add Spring Hill to the doc to the credits and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I thought in my mind, I said, okay, I'm going to, I had churchy in my house mm -hmm. on a hard drive in 4K. And I thought I was going to upload eight episodes to Vimeo because we got the pro account and I'm going to send BT. Here's eight episodes of Churchy mm -hmm. on the Vimeo. Yeah. We had our first call with their uh, intake team, mm -hmm. production intake team. It's not at all how it works. How does it work? It's not at all how it works. <laughs> what you have to do. First, this is the second thing that was really new to me. The network has... Now they bought it. There's parameters. We need the episodes shorter. So I have to trim. Got to pay an editor to do that. Right? Now I got to have to make some phone calls. Some people who was in it on Camo State Studios not going to be in it. Oh, bless my friend. I had called my good friend, Angel. I said, the network. Um, <laughs> I said, Angel, the network. So I didn't know this. The network, they have parameters. They need to be, if you want it to be on linear, it has to be, can't be more than 22, 23 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so now somebody else can have input. And I've always told y'all, whoever's paying, they get say so. Because mm -hmm. it ain't my network, BT, not mine. I said, Angel, um, um, <laughs> you know. Um, I said, they're going to have to Angel, cut me out. Angel said, first of all, she's full mom. Mm -hmm. When Angel's not on camera, Angel's a mother of four and a wife. Please. Angel, hold on, hold on, y'all. I'm talking to I, Kevin. I, hold on. I said, Angel, um, the Kev, they're, they're gonna have to cut me out. I know. My my, my thing was mostly about jokes, and they pushed the story forward. It's fine. You you all right? Okay, I'm gonna talk to you later. I said, Oh God. He was like, But that means you can be in season two. I said, Kevin, I don't have to be in this show. I am happy for you. She showed it. He's like, But I know, Angel. I, I said. You sold a show to BET. I don't care if my character got killed and no one knew about it. I don't care. He's just like, okay, okay. I'm like, listen. I said, you made it so much easier for me. So that's just one thing. When Churchy goes up on Kevin State Studios, you have basically, okay, so if you haven't edited, just imagine this. You have one track. This is what I thought I was saying to them. This one track is the footage. It's the music. Mm -hmm. It's the color correction. Color correction is like an Instagram filter. Like you lay it on. It's more detailed than that, but it's essentially like an Instagram filter. And then you have the music and the sound effects. It's all on one track. You export that, put that on the Vimeo, upload it. To deliver to BET, this is what you have to do. You have to have the main track with everything included. You have to have... Oh, and then you have the graphics. Mm -hmm. You have to have the show with nothing. This is called a textless um, version. Nothing on there. When you have put a text message on there, take that out. Then you have to have another one. These are three separate things with a time code burnt in. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then for the audio, you have to have just everything mixed, one track. You have to have one track with just sound effects and nothing else. One track with just music and nothing else. One track with just dialogue and nothing else. One track with everything mixed. One track with all 16 channels. So if I'm mic one, Kevin's mic, all episode one, channel one. Angel's mic, episode one, channel two. 
Josh is Mike, episode one, channel three. Josh also got cut out of church. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to say, don't, don't throw me in there. I got Josh cut out. Didn't even make the camera say studios app because that scene, I'll tell the story another day. <laughs> but he didn't even make it for the, to the app version. I know, I know. I had to pay to have it remixed because um, the, the the sound quality, you have like HD audio, then you have like Dolby 5.1. I had to pay to get it re sound mixed per episode to get it up to Dolby 5.1. Then you have to have the tack, the captions done with a vetted company. It was, we had to hire an editor. I don't even want to tell you how much it cost. I haven't even got paid yet because you're doing all this ahead of time. Correct. And then Churchy went from an April uh, air date to a, to a February. February air date. Uh-huh. So all Christmas break, when I'm supposed to be laid up, we emailing, meeting, and talking. Luckily, I have a team who works for me who did a lot of work, but it was a lot of work. The first episode of Churchy, we had mixed by a person who mixes in music, mm. sound. <laughs> the editor got that back. He said, I don't, this guy's done his job as far as like making it sound right, but he, he's never edited for music. We need somebody who mixes for film and TV. There's a yeah. certain workflow mm-hmm. that it looks like. So I have that episode redone from scratch. So as soon as I sold it, I got to pay more dollars before my dollars come in. Because mm-hmm. you know, they on that net 30, net 60, net 90. Oh, no, yeah, you're going to wait. And you're new, you're new in the system. And I'm new. You know, when I work for a certain record label, I didn't get paid for nine months. That's not happening with BT. The money's on the way. Mm-hmm. But all these things are happening at once, right? So I greatly underestimated how much work it would take. Now, this will never happen again in the same way because now I know. And most of this stuff, we just didn't know. So you don't know what you don't know until you know. Yeah. So like I, now I see why when you watch a TV show, most text messages mm-hmm. are just words now because the graphics create a whole issue. There's also a safety zone because of how many different TVs they are. there are. You can't put it at the bottom of the screen. This is just like with social media. You yes. Know, you're like, oh, but that's going to be underneath my name and then the thing. And on the, TikTok, uh, the words is here. Right. And on Instagram, it's, so if you put it up here to be safe on all four, I don't know that. Mm-hmm. So it was like learning to drink water out of a fire hose. <laughs> I was surprised at how it, but I was like, how would I know? I never did a TV show. And most people probably don't know this because when you make a TV show, usually if I sold a show to BT traditionally, BT would have a vetted production partner who already knows how to produce. And not only that, they, they have all of the experts. Yes. They don't, they're not having to get someone who's close enough to right. that industry that they could possibly, yes. the way we do. We'd be like, it, you you know how to, you didn't edit it a TikTok. Edit this TV show for exactly. me. <laughs> exactly. So, so <laughs> that, there's just different worlds, yeah. right? So all that to say, it's it's been so mind-blowing. The amount of work, but the amount of love that I've got. It's been great. And I just want to say, I want to say one thing. When I made the announcement. Oh, yes. I'm I sorry. I forgot to remind you. You forgot to remind me. But the Lord brought you on Come on, Spirit of Petty. Go on and follow him. When I made the announcement that the podcast revenue was down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And in order to keep this podcast going. We needed Patreon. We needed Patreon people to raise $2. Just the podcast. Just the podcast. All type of vloggers. And YouTubers made episodes. Kev on stage is broke AF. Kev on stage is broke. That's what he gets. I knew it was going to crumble. The funniest thing about this, BET show was already sold. When I made that announcement, I never said I was broke. I said, this business of mine is suffering because this industry is suffering. That's not unique to here's the thing. Correct. Angel has a podcast. She told you the same thing. I I called my other industry friends who have different advertisers. The whole media industry is constricting. Yeah. Nobody said that. You know what they said? Angel kept on saying just broke AF. And I'm talking about the day my video came out. Mm -hmm. I was on their podcast and their YouTube videos. Yeah. But what's crazy 
Is that what they Is that when BT News dropped that I saw the show, I didn't see those same people say congratulations. No, of course not. Interestingly enough, the ones who rushed to call me broke and say, look, Kev on stage is failing. He'll be driving Uber soon. They didn't take the time to turn on their camera and record and say, oh my gosh, congratulations. He sold a TV show that he financed with him and his wife. Of course they're not. I wonder why they haven't made that episode. It's just like listen, just like the just hilarious thing. I'm sure ain't none of those people out of all those clips that she aired. They didn't make no apology videos? They didn't say they were wrong? They didn't say congratulations. They didn't say nothing. They just moved on to whatever other bad news. Oh, and that's let that be a message to you. Some people are only going to talk about you negatively. They saw both. Because I only made one video about the podcast being down. I made 12 in a day about the show being sold. Gave them ample opportunities. They didn't share the trailer. Some people never going to congratulate you. Never going to celebrate Never. you. They're only waiting for you to fail. And th- what they perceive as your failure isn't even a failure. Mm-hmm. I never said I was broke. You said that. <laughs> I you just said told it. you. You's a liar. In the video you heard, I said, me and my family doing okay. The podcast part of the business is struggling. I don't, And I don't want you. I'm, I'm going to keep checking. And see if you make an, uh, make an update and add it to your post and say, no, man, dang, that's crazy. Don't Kev's on a TV time, show. Kevin, they I don't wanna, do but it. I want to see. Because I would say, oh, my God, I was wrong. They're not going to say Oh, my God, I was wrong. They're not going to say it? They're not going to say it. What are they not going to say? Y'all, you don't see this video? And Josh put all this up, too. Don't cut the bonus off till here. Hey, <laughs> hey. Don't cut the bonus off until we're no first thing. I'm talking to y'all. Why are, Why didn't y'all rush to make a video congratulating me? You didn't make no noise about me selling my show to a network. Why? Why you didn't? You didn't hear about it? You didn't know? He's in his petty. Why you BT, you about? didn't read a Variety? You oh didn't see BT or BT Plus or my post? Because I want to know why y'all rushed to call me broke, but you didn't rush to congratulate me. I know you saw it and you see this too. See. And this is the last I'm going to say because I'm not going to be messing with you. But I knew this when I said that. It, it also I first, knew this. But in another place, CP Image Award, Outstanding Podcast, and yeah. Sports. Come on, man. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not even going to justify you by calling you by name. <laughs> You're all say the one name. group of ignorance to me. <laughs> You're, You're one just bag one of ignorance. You're one bag bundle. of ignorance. You're a bundle. I won't even dignify you by calling you individually. But you know who you are. Keep the video up, too. Don't take it down. <laughs> And also, I want to say this to the stage crew. This this is like all of our win, and I do mean that. Go stage crew, go! Because go. y'all, listen, y'all believed. Y'all put your money up, five dollars, yeah, six, seven, ten, fifteen. Some of y'all, a good portion of y'all, have the Patreon and the app. Y'all watched, y'all kept, y'all paid for the year, y'all supported. Y'all voted in the polls. Y'all shared with your people. You did. Y'all are the reason I can do this. And what I mean by that now, yes, did I pay for this? And y'all and also shout out Spectrum. Amen. Good job. Unofficial producers. Because <laughs> uh, I saved my bread. Turn that Maserati in. Take this up out of here. Because I got to pay for this show. I got to pay for it. There's a reason I was on tour for eight months. Nine Man. months. Get that account for right that back show. up. I said, dog. Kevin thought he was going to make this show. I want y'all Too to below. say I wasn't going to say this part. And I hoped you was going to forget. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We starting the tour. He's like, I'm thinking we can write the show, have it shot in October, have it out by December. And I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> Yeah, if I could shoot, if I we write it, write eight episodes, 
shoot it all October, have it out on the app by December. And I was like, what time? Give her, give or take the give holiday. Give or take. Give, give the people something. She to conveniently for left out give or take. No, I honey. definitely said give or take. I, this is us sitting in the black, uh, one of the black SUVs driving either to or, or away from the airport. <laughs> and I was like, what? Dimension of reality is Kevin in because I might need to jump in that one. An alternate dimension. You are definitely an alternate dimension. I was like, what? He tried to cast it five months in advance. I said, Kevin, don't do it. Don't do that, friend. Don't. He said, do but it. what way? He's like, no, because I need to know the people. I said, these people are going to book other jobs. Oh, Be patient. Oh I'm mean, this patient guy around. <laughs> patient guy around. He's over here. This is Kevin. Murder. What? He's like, yeah, so we're going we gonna to do a table read on, um, we're going to read the scripts on Thursday. Yeah. Da, da, da. I was like, all right, okay. Thursday come. Angel, you going to get on the Zoom? Do that. Why am I in this table read? self-care. <laughs> I was like, this is a day that I, I do my self-care. Yeah, but we need you to read the parts on the thing. But Kevin, why? And why? Why? I'm over here on my Peloton being somebody's grandmother. Sweating. Yes. I, I, he had me read about eight different characters. That show did. <laughs> he he didn't did. You hear say, you, and this time you said he gone. <laughs> <laughs> you lucky. One thing my brother told me and Angel echoed this separate conversation. They said, Kev, because I was going to have Angel play four <laughs> characters in this show. And they both were like, if you don't, if you want to be taken seriously, you cannot have people in wigs. Yeah. Like, Playing way above their age, yes. they, they were. They both said, "Cause I was like, yeah, Angel gonna be her, her, yes. her, I was and like, him. Uh, uh-uh. uh, get real old people." Angel said, "And listen, old people be old. Yeah, they do. <laughs> old people, they be, be old. old for real. So, um, not only that. So Angel said that, and I said, okay, I gotta cast people. My brother said that too. He was big on that because I was gonna cast them folk." And it was like also cast real actors because they know how to be on set. Yes. All that stuff. He right? just, I'm going to bring this friend and that friend. I was like, oh, okay, okay, listen, you save some spots for them, but you're going to have to get some people that can get it in the first take. This your money. And they, and then they both said separately, but at the same time, <laughs> also, you can do that, but it won't go nowhere else. Mm-hmm. So if you want to make it a TV, you cannot do that. Mm-hmm. Hey, people are automatically going to think it's a, Instagram yeah. thing if you don't hire real actors and actresses. And if you hire people who all work on Instagram, make sure they can act. Like Lexi? Yeah, she can act. Lexi can act and she's professional. She Absolutely. reminds me of Angel and Quinn, Candace and Denor. Those are probably four people I know who I could put in anything. They come on time. They got their lines memorized. They know your lines. They know four different ways <laughs> to do their lines. And that's how Lexi came. Mm-hmm. I was like, when I brought Quinn, I said, when she came on set, Denora, Candace, I said, these niggas is for real. And Denora complimented how well you ran your set. She ain't told me. Well, she did. She did. She and did. I got this. Denora is an actress. She's not playing. She went to Harvard. She plays the gym bag. Mm-hmm. So she anyway. The, uh, go home. Go home. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and then the other thing, and Melissa told me this, and Angel told me this. And I didn't listen to either of them. And they were quickly cooler. In my mind, there was no way we was going above that budget. Now, let me tell you something. I actually have a background in production. Mm-hmm. At All Deaf, at Awesomeness TV. When Zay was on Little Rascals, I was sneaking, I was listening. When the people was in the producer's tent, I 1,000% was standing by, acting like I was eating chips. I was listening to their meetings. Nothing I have ever worked on that I paid for and anybody's ever paid for has came in under budget. Never. In your budgets, you budget for an overage. Contingency. There's a whole line item called contingency. 20%. They budget to go over and they go over that. Mm-hmm. I said, no. Nothing's going wrong when I do it. <laughs> Angel. Before we said rolling on the first day, already over budget. COVID? COVID COVID alone. We shot this before the mask mandates for SAG-related projects came down. Yeah, the testing was required. So you had to test at that time. If you were working every day, three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. If you were working one day, they had to test 
two days ahead of time to work the day they're supposed to work. Yeah. I budgeted that. I can't even, until the day I tell you the story, I can't even tell you how far off I was. Let me tell you what else. People miss their days. And the other sad workaround is if you miss your day, uh, actually, you couldn't miss your day. What will happen is if you miss the testing window, like we had free tests, if they missed that, I would have to send a doctor to them. Mm-hmm. That doctor was like, he he ate off me so bad in COVID. Mm-hmm. $200 a test per test. 200 Just for the test. 350 for him to get to you. So we would just tell the people, if you miss your day, come to the set. We'll have the doctor there. 200 200 200 200 200 200 200 we had people who had got COVID or COVID exposures. We had there's a whole scene in Churchy where a character's supposed to be there talking to me. COVID exposure, it's now FaceTime. Like an idiot, I shoot her lines on my phone. And by the time the, the nobody ever gets the footage from me. So I'm just holding this, but we can never cut to her because it don't exist. And that lesson I learned, even if you're shooting on a phone, you put your hand like this and there's a dog on camera, real camera behind you. Yeah. I learned all this stuff. I went over by a bazillion dollars. <laughs> I was so over budget. It was like the budget I thought t- two times. Oh, Kathy was like, by I can end. shoot this for 10 grand. And, th- <laughs> and then three weeks before it's supposed to go live, my brother dies. Yeah. So the end of, I, at that point, I was like, I am done marketing this. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to have a premiere. Other videos were supposed to go up. I was like, no. This is why me and Melissa in the live tweeting. Because I was like, I said, Melissa, do you want a live tweet to try to promote the show? Like, what do we want to do? She's like, I'll live tweet with you. Because I was just Mark. like, what? I was like, what? you know, this is big. But I get why. And, you know, I fully understood why you didn't have the energy or the capacity I to had, be able to, and I plan a funeral. No, I fully get it. I fully, fully get it. But at the same time, I was like, "But this is something that you poured so much into. Yes. It's just terrible to watch it to uh, just Falter. fall flat." Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because that was a lot. Oh, let me let me go back casting. Let's go to oh, casting. Angel, don't bring up the past. We're gonna bring it all up since we, we this is a churchy time, honey. It's a churchy this time. episode is just called churchy, Kevin. Or first didn't really want to do casting. And I was like, Kevin, people will audition for this. So let's cast. Let's actually do casting, but let's wait. Because I actually wanted him to use my girlfriend, Marquita, to help. But she had just also had a death. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, "Uh, this, I was like, but we need to give her some space. Because this is a big one and she needs to, like, do something. He was like, nope, got to cast right now. And, And when I tell you... First of all, the the submissions. Let's start there. The submissions for the contest. Y'all need help. Y'all, y'all are some bona fide lunatics. Some of y'all. Bona fide lunatics. <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to Google how to audition for television. This video. You go to YouTube. Oh, oh man. these people didn't care. People made full blown TikToks like Kiki, do you love me? But like singing the words to the script. It's a musical, Angel. It was the <laughs> lunatics. So getting to watch Victory watched a lot of those oh, and pulled out the good God. ones. Some of the people had their children reading the lines back for there them. There was a woman clearly breastfeeding her whole entire breast. And listen, sure free the breast. I you, forgot about that. Yes, big a big old white titty out. And listen, you feed your baby, but then shoot the audition after you feed the baby. And uh That's yeah. what I was- I gotta do it right now. <laughs> right, right now. now. Uh, but those are the auditions for the main characters. The people came so prepared. Yeah. It was it was great. And Kevin just he get excited about any and everybody. This one, this is the one. This person, Kevin. God, wait. This this is the one. There was a lot of talk of me off the ledge. Yeah, Kevin was. And he was like, Kevin, you can't take the first person of everything. <laughs> Because then you see a good person, you're like, you're out. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're in. People have, I, I, now I know why. The few offer only sometimes I'll get something. 
it'll be Thursday of this week and they're shooting on Tuesday of the next week in New Orleans. Yeah. Like, can you do this role? Because people will do it. Mm-hmm. They don't have to do it and get people three months in advance. If you don't have no money, when the real money comes, they'll be like, I'm not doing your Yeah, thing no I would absolutely bail. What up, y'all? I hope you enjoy this bonus clip snippet. Listen, if you want the full bonus episode, then hit the Kev on Stage Studios Patreon. It's right here on the thing you're looking at. You get patreon.com slash Kev on Stage Studios. You can click Kev on Stage.com. You're missing out. Me and Angel do full on bonus episodes. And depending on what the topic is, sometimes the better episode is the bonus. Honestly, we're a little more relaxed on the bonus episode because we know it's not going public. So we let our hair down. Well, she lets her hair down. I let my beard down. We also have full shows that never air in full on the YouTube exclusive shows, merch discounts, tickets. But the thing that you're really missing out on is the community. It's the people like you. Black people, some white, some Mexicans too, but we all kind of cool. They be, they be cool, you know what I'm saying? Allies, if you will. So join us and stop just having the snippet only. You guys just got the tip. Get the full shaft. Hey, sure. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another one. Here's another of fire. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. Here's another thing of fire. With my boy Kevin Stay. And that chick angel.